Yo, what up, everybody? Garbar Bowls is what you're welcome. Uh, it's time to start our eBay breaks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with Bowman Hobby four box break number 10. All right, so our other camera is like not working right now, so I gotta do this uh, little angleization here. Let's open up the case. And I'm pretty much going to go through the whole case. Uh, four boxes in this break. Do another four boxes in number 11, which comes up after this. And then finishing the case with number 12, which is the last four boxes out of the case. After that, I got Diamond Kings number 17. After that, I have 2017 Unparalleled Football number 23. And our last eBay break of the night is Unparalleled Football from 2016, four box number nine. Uh, I am going to need some sleeves, so let me uh, stock up on those. The Pelicans and the Warriors got a close game, just like I thought it would be. Draymond Green thinks he could defend Anthony Davis. That guy's funny. All right, stacking up on my, uh, my sleeves here because I, I am going to need them. I did hit an Otani autograph earlier. Pretty, uh, pretty stoked about that. So let's see uh, if I can hit it now for eBay. The uh, the Otani autograph I hit earlier today uh, was for my website, ripcitycards.com. Uh, and I do have another PYT listed in case anyone is interested in uh, getting in on that. Why couldn't they just do it like Hobby and give me, like, just fat-ass packs instead of a fuck ton? I would much rather just do a few packs but just have them be super fat. Vintage cards, you saw the uh, the last Bowman break for the store. You saw that Otani, a blue Otani, number to 150, so nice. That's yours, vintage card? Oh, man, congratulations. Congratulations. I'm going to ship that out to you with uh, with the most insurance possible. I'm gonna put that thing in like 50 bubble mailers. Shit, if I was you, Vintage, I wouldn't be surprised if you bought a plane ticket to come to Miami just to pick it up. All right, let's uh, open up packs here.
I wonder what that card is gonna go for. I've been I've been hearing all types of uh, numbers getting thrown out. Uh, the Angels sold. Uh, we're selling the Angels for seven hundred dollars, seven hundred and forty nine dollars, uh, on our website, RipCityCards.com. Oh, dude, EB, I do not blame you at all. Around 3,500 4Gs. Yeah, I was hearing 6,000. Somebody came out and was like, oh, bro, that's going to be like 20,000. So, either way, man, you, you definitely, definitely uh, got your money's worth there. Your first was a base auto. Nice. The Super Fractor is still floating out there somewhere, right? Watch it be in one of the cases I got. Uh, I got number 8 in the store, uh, but I also have number 9 as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna post them up. I think I'm gonna post number nine as well too, just just to be done with it. I don't think we're gonna order any more cases, given the fact that Bowman prices are ridiculous right now. Man, Draymond Green is such a dirty player, yo. Tomas, are you watching the, the Pelicans uh, Warriors game, dude? Draymond Green is such a dirty player. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't think I've seen a Japanese autograph yet. I don't think I've seen a Japanese autograph yet. I don't know if I hate him. I mean, he's one of those players that you don't like playing against, but if he's on your team, you fucking love him. The only thing I don't like about Draymond is how he, you know, he tries to act like a tough guy. But all he's good for is, you know, kicking you in the dick. Literally. And yeah, he definitely has one of those faces that you just want to, you just want to punch in the mouth. Not only that, but, uh, you know, he, he looks like a mouth breather, you know what I mean? He looks like a like the type of dude that he breathes through his mouth at all times. Yeah, knees to balls, you know, feet to balls. Pretty much, he just likes he just likes all kind of balls. And he takes the term ball player to a whole nother level. I gotta say, it's a really close game. I thought that's what game one was gonna be like. And this is game two with Steph Curry. They didn't have Steph Curry in game one. So, interesting. Interesting. And what I'm also... Well, actually, never mind. Because Golden State has really good fans. Loyal as hell. I was gonna say, I bet like half of the fans in the stands right now... Weren't around 10 years ago when the Warriors were fucking booty. Well, I don't want to say they were booty. They were still a playoff team, but they weren't competing for championships. Wow, they called a flagrant foul on that? Bro, they play some pussy ass basketball nowadays.
Let me see something here. Right, no, like, one out of every, like, what is it? One out of every ten Warrior fan doesn't know who Chris Mullen is? Dude, like, I'm a, I'm a basketball fan. You know what I mean? I'm a basketball fan. So, dude, I remember, I remember watching highlights as a kid of Run TMC. Uh, back when they had Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullins, and Mitch Richmond. Balling. I remember when they first got uh, Chris Webber. Dude, I remember seeing Chris Webber dunk on Charles Barkley. Like, man. Dude, I, yeah, they had Spreewell back in the day too. They had some good. They had some good teams, man. Run TMC was fun basketball. Back when they actually played basketball, you know, you could you could give somebody a nice hard foul, and it was it was not even considered a flagrant. Back then, flagrant wasn't even like. A word. Just oh, take your free throws. Get up and walk it off, bro. Now you can you can barely touch them, man. Back then you could put two hands on a post player, hand check. You know the defender could pretty much guide the offensive player where they wanted to go if they were good enough. Like man, nowadays you can't you can't play defense. Man, who is that chick sitting back there, courtside, with the blue top blonde hair? She's getting into a little argument with that dude. Girl, you better shut up. I guarantee you he paid for that seat. She looking good, though. My boy gave me a link, uh, so I'm pretty much using my boy's account to watch uh, to watch live television. He uh, he let me get his his Directv login information, so I'm watching it on the internet. God damn, we're living a crazy time. Twenty years ago, couldn't do this shit. Dude, I remember when the Game Boy came out and that shit was like game changer. You know, having a fucking Walkman that that you could like fucking, you know, that, that wouldn't skip the CDs was like revolutionary. Now, I pretty much got a computer, pretty much, I got like, I don't know how many different devices I have in this right here. I wonder, what, I wonder what the next best, best, like big thing is going to be. I wonder if nanotechnology is ever going to be like a thing. Maybe that's like the next the next step.
You think paper currency is going to end? Everything's going to be digital? I can see that. I can see that. Come on, you fucking. That, watch the Otani be right there. Watch. Uh, well, Young Jace, to be honest with you, man, I kind of just, I kind of fell into it. Um, a friend of mine uh, posted up on Facebook, like, hey, is anybody interested in a part time job? And, you know. I am, uh, I like to think of myself as a hustler, so I figured, you know, why not? Should I pick up another part-time job? Why not? Fuck it. So I was, you know, I used to work as a sorter, you know, where I would sort breaks and things like that. Uh, and then eventually I uh, had the opportunity to become a breaker. Uh, so, so I took it. I took the opportunity. I mean, I don't collect cards. Uh, so I don't know, I, you know, I can't really, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, I can't really hold conversations as far as like prices and like things like things of that nature. But I've been doing this for about a year and a half now and I figured out a few things, you know, the same product comes out every year, just different players and whatnot. So my my thing is I know I know about sports. You know I follow basketball and, and football closely. You know I know a little baseball, um, which is mainly the three big sports that we do. So I can hold I can hold a conversation if we're talking sports. Um, but yeah, I, kinda, I pretty much just fell into this, man. It is a, it is a fun job. It is a fun job, but it's also very stressful. You know I am my own boss and. Um, I don't make any money if I don't sell anything. So, it's definitely a fun job, and it has its perks, but it's extremely stressful. You know, a lot more stressful than you would think. You know, think about it. If, if, you don't, if I don't sell anything, I don't make any money. So, so it, it is definitely uh, a double-edged sword, if you will. All right, I'm done opening uh, packs here. Now it's time to just see the greatness. So, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. All righty. So... Everything ships in this. Uh, I thought veteran paper base didn't ship, but that's a mistake. Everything ships in this, so no no need for me to separate it. Uh, Joe Adele to four ninety nine Angels. Come on. 
Uh, vintage card dock. I still we we have to sort it. We have to sort it still. But if you want the one card to ship out to you, bro, no problem. I'll ship that thing out to you tomorrow, no problem. Uh, DJ Stewart to 150 for the Orioles. Uh, dude, I'll ship it out for you tomorrow. If you want it next day air, man, I'll take care of that. I'll do all that shit. I'll put the maximum insurance on it. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll make sure that that one card gets sent out to you. And then, you know, we'll just, we'll just have to sort everything else. And you'll get that later. Is that, is that all right with you, Vintage? I'll ship the one Otani autograph. And then, uh, you know... Uh, well, I'll, I'll also send the, the, the paper Otanis, too. Um, and then you would have to wait for my sorters to uh, to sort the rest of the cards. And, you know, eventually get those. What up, John Wick? How much did these go for eBay? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I have not pulled up my reports yet. I usually do that at the end of the night. But Bowman has been doing pretty well for us, uh, so... Pretty good, pretty good. All right, Vintage Card, I got you. I'll take care of you, man. Drew Ellis, Atomic for the Diamondbacks. I don't know I don't know if I really like the fact that uh, well we ship USPS or UPS uh, vintage card. We we don't use FedEx. Well sometimes well no we receive FedEx but we uh, yes young bat this is number ten. Uh, we ship USPS or UPS. Actually no I lied we ship USPS. Still have not hit the autograph. Well, there it is, and it's a good one. Brendan McKay of the Rays, the autograph. It's a nice card. It's a nice card. Pelicans and the Warriors are in a close game, man. So, Vintage Card, to answer your question, we ship USPS. Nah, I thought I hit another duel for a second because I saw Brendan McKay, but no, nah, it's just uh, just Brendan McKay for the raise there. Yeah, that duel auto was pretty ridiculous, huh? All right, Vintage Card, I got you. I'll take care of you, man. No worries. Uh, Jorge Mateo to 125 A's. Dude, I can only imagine vintage card. Congrats, my man. Uh, by the way, uh, for anyone else out there watching, I, I did list another jumbo break on my website. So if you're interested in picking up some teams jumbo style, check our website, ripcitycards.com. And you can also register for an account on our website to receive a discount code of $15, which you can use only on our website. Uh, Tyler Male. Number to four ninety nine for the Reds. You feel me, John? A blue Otani? Oh man, loveliness! All right, one box down. An Otani paper for the Angels. Uh, yeah, you can use that code on your first purchase, your second purchase, your third purchase. It does have to be a minimum of $25 on our website to use that code. 
and you can only use that code on our website you cannot use it for our eBay breaks either uh, what I trust buying sealed vintage boxes um, well to be honest with you man I don't collect you know I don't collect cards I'm not a participant of the hobby uh, I just really enjoy breaking it um, so that's what I that's why I do this uh, but it depends on the product are we talking Fleer basketball Agent K, what was Jordan's rookie year, 85, 86 or something? What else we got? I just wish it was like a super or, or a red. And that thing, bro, social media would eat that shit up. Quinn Holmes to 150 for the Indians. Boom. Oh, I'm 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 well aware what <laughs> what 86 Fleer basketball goes for, uh, but it, you know it's that expensive for a reason. I think there's like four or five Jordan rookie cards in a box of that. I think that's what I hear. That's what my my inside uh, sources told me once upon a time. I don't know how accurate that is, but yeah. What does BBCE stand for? What are they like? Some kind of certification service or something? Never heard of. Never heard of that. Got an atomic here. Well, I like to call them crack dice, but atomic is the proper name. Trevor Rogers of the Marlins. See a little orange, which are hobby exclusive. Nice. And it's an autograph. Cedric Mullins. Orange. First Bowman autograph for the Orioles. And it looks even sweeter with the Orioles colors. A little orange on orange action. That's nice. Number 16 out of 25. Nice hit, Orioles. There you go, Notorious P.I.T. Congrats, my dude. And guys, this is hobby. You know, this is four boxes of hobby. I got a jumbo case on my website, ripcitycards.com, where you could pick up your team and not have to worry about somebody outbidding you. All you got to worry about at that point is uh, for all teams to sell out. Because once all teams sell out, I will break it. Uh, and keep in mind, it's Jumbo in the full case. In Jumbo, there are three autographs per box compared to one in Hobby. So if that's something that interests you, check our website, ripcitycards.com, baby. The Warriors starting to pull away. Dennis Santana to 250 for the Dodgers. I'm on box three. Snuffleupagus. That's pretty funny. Uh, no, I did not bet on the game. I'm not a, I'm not a gambler. I'm not a gambler. 
uh, because in order to gamble, you got to have this thing called money. And uh, don't really have that to just blow. Otani paper for the Angels. Uh, dude, you know, honestly, I think uh, it's it's a little bit of the Celtics defense. Uh, and the, the dude just, the dude was resting for like, I don't know how long. I think they were off for like almost 10 days or something. So, you know, it's a little bit of the rust factor going there. Whereas the Celtics, they just got done playing seven games. So that, you know, the, the adrenaline and whatnot is still high for them. Whereas the Sixers got to get back into the, back into that zone. Sounds good, Notorious PIT. Check us out, man. And like I said, register for an account on our website, ripcitycards.com, and we'll email you a code that'll save you $15 on your first website purchase. It does require a minimum purchase of $25, but you do save 15 bucks. Saving money is always muy bueno. Alex Jackson Atomic for the Braves. Marcos Molina to four ninety nine for the Mets. I think the Sixers win next game in Boston. You know what they say? It's not a series until the home team loses. Eric Pardino to 125 for the Blue Jays. By the way, you know, we also do giveaways on our website. Uh, if you buy into a PYT, you have a chance at winning a $100 break credit uh, because all our PYTs on our website come with, uh, with a $100 break credit giveaway. Uh, Rhino, it's fifteen dollars, my man. Fifteen dollars. You do have to register on our website, and the code will get emailed to you. Uh, but it's fifteen bucks. Better than no bucks. Chris Bryant to one fifty for the Cubs. Pelicans not going away. If the Pelicans steal this game, that would be hilarious. Hunter Green, Atomic to 150 for the Reds. It's a cool looking card. Sam Hilliard to 499 Rockies. So, uh, so this chick I'm talking to, she just sent me like these avocado emojis. Like, what the fuck does that mean? A whole bunch of avocados. Uh, Nicholas, I do have a bunch of eBay breaks to go through. Um... But they're really, they're, they're kind of, they're not, I don't think they're going to take that long, to be honest with you. I don't think it'll take that long. I think, I, I think I'll be done around 3 in the morning. Uh, what are you interested in, Nicholas? Talk to me, talk to me. There he is, autographed for Luis Escobar of the Pirates. First Bowman auto. Not numbered, unfortunately. But there you go, Pirates with a hit. <laughs> well, she's already seen those, so, you know, if that was the case, she could just ask. I don't understand girls these days, man, especially, like, the younger girls with all these emojis. I mean, I'm like, man, if you, if you want a girl, you just got to ask for it, you know what I'm saying? Interested in the prize soccer? Uh, are you interested in the, the, the personal boxes that I have? I have three personal boxes left. I know the store shows six, but I, I actually have three left, uh, Nicholas. Yeah, 
If you buy all three, I'll give you a nice little discount, Nicholas. Rising, what you What you think about that? What you think about that? Or you could pick up some teams so we can do the whole case break. What you think about that? Gavin Lavalley to two fifty for the Reds. Jared, who's been gifting subs left and right, getting vintage and a bundle. Um there's plenty of boosters to go around. I'm Zach in the first. Zach, you're picking vintage booster. Like I said, we do have jungle box. Shohei Otani Angels. Paper. So the, are the has the Japanese Otani auto been hit yet? Cause that'd be so nasty. Atomic for the Phillies. Mackenzie Mills. Yeah, dude, Pelicans are balling, man. Imagine if they had Boogie Cousins. Oh, that team would be a problem. All right, where's the autograph? Have not seen an autograph yet out of this box. Alright, it's gotta be in the last stack. You gotta be in the last stack. Which is here. Here we go. Mm, in the orange auto, maybe? Blake Rutherford to 25 for the White Sox. Dude, Kawhi on the Pelicans would be disgusting. Oh, Notorious PIT. I, I am doing none of that. That would be tops. And luckily, they did not do it. Nikki Delmonico with the autograph to 499 for the White Sox. I'm hoping the Heat can pick up Kawhi and maybe somebody else like Paul George or something. I know, Notorious. I was just talking some shit. Man, I think that's going to just about do it for this break. Yes, sir. Dean Kane, sir. That was a break. So to recap it, you know we only do recaps for autos, baby. We got Nicky Delmonico to 499 White Sox. Luis Escobar, Pirates. Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. That's a nice looking card. And Brendan McKay of the Rays. Another good card right there. And that was the break. 2018 Bowman Baseball Hobby. Four box break, number 10, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.